Vimcal, it is a, or oh, allegedly, the fastest calendar experience ever. Today, we're going to overview what Vimcal is, what are the core features, and finally, summarize with who Vimcal is best for. So welcome, my name is Francesco. I'm excited to dive into Vimcal, but you can find any calendar app that you like on Toolfinder. That will be linked below, but you can also get an in-depth review of what Vimcal does in the link in the description because we've reviewed it over there and it will give you a bit more detail than this review will here. So very simply, Vimcal is trying to be the fastest way to do calendar. It's fast in its design, it works on desktop and mobile, but essentially this allows you to create events, book meetings, and to be able to find availability for other people. So it works in a slight sense like Calendarly for being able to book meetings with others and has some newer AI functions that will help you find the time that's suitable using your email experience. But the core experience is meant to be fast, snappy, and works on iOS and Windows and Mac. But the pricing is a little bit limited because, for example, if you get the mobile version and you're just using the mobile version, it's free to use and you can get going with it. However, if you want to upgrade to the desktop editions, you're looking at $15 per month for the regular monthly pricing and $12.50 for the monthly pricing if you go with annual. So it's probably the most expensive calendar application on the market right now, but in itself, it's the fastest that I've used at being able to deliver a core experience and you can utilize other features like sticky note, templates, and more like availability to help yourself book meetings faster. So who is Vimcal best for? To be honest, it's really good for those who are looking to use your calendar and meetings every single day, and those who associate their calendar and meetings and that time associated with organizing it to direct spend, because I think this is probably the most expensive one but for someone who invests a lot of time in Vimcal, for example, who might use it on a routine basis, this might be the one tool that they should invest in. Because it's one of these things that if you can directly correlate it to costs or output, then it's something that might be a good investment. So Vimcal, whilst expensive, could offer a good and fastest core calendar experience for you. So thank you very much, folks. I hope you find a productivity tool because you can go find Tool Finder and search all the calendar apps there or, or, or go deeper into Vimcal, which will help you. And we do have a flagship review over on Keep Productive if you fancy diving into Vimcal and my own experience of using it over a few days. So thank you very much and I look forward to helping you find your productivity tool and I'll see you in a future video. Cheerio, folks.